In today's video, we are using the simplest recipe along with the simplest tools and the simplest technique to create a wonderful piece of art. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to another video. So today we are using paint and water to create a wonderful piece of fluid art. I'm going to walk you through step by step and get you on your way to creating your very own unique piece of art. And the reason why I love this technique that I found recently, although it's a little older, is the simplicity of it and the options that you have as far as what you design on this board are just endless. I'll talk about that a little further down the road, but let me explain what I have here. So I have blue acrylic paint that I thinned down with some water. That is it. I have an artist panel, which is wood that is primed with gesso. They sell them at Michael's. You can buy them online. I will put a link in the description for you. But the surface is a slippery surface. Think of maybe like a ceramic tile, that type of a surface. That's what this piece of board feels like. And the reason why it works so well is because the paint doesn't dry as fast as it would on canvas. So you can literally take some paint mixed with water and or white glue and just go ahead and pour a little tiny bit on the wet surface of the board. I did pre-wet the board before putting the blue paint down. Then you can take your paintbrush and just get creative with it and start sliding it through that wet paint. I implore you to use different colors, although I'm just using one today. Using multiple colors can be really, really fun and create some really um, different types of look. You'll notice just by using the one color, however, you're going to get multiple shades of that one color. The more you brush through the paint or even the same section, the more it's going to change. The paint blends together beautifully. As you can see, it almost outlines the entire section that you're sliding through. So you're getting depth, you're getting shading, you're getting highlights and lowlights, all without even trying really. So for those that don't have a lot of experience, this is really going to be a lot of fun for you. I did a video on this last week and um, I had to thank Jamal Belgamari for showing me this technique. I'm just, I've fallen in love with it. I'm also going to be doing a video next week where you're going to see how easy it is just to paint in objects or, you know, a scenery. So please make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. So now I'm going to create some lighter lines by taking a napkin, folding it up and just erasing some of that paint. How cool is that? This is going to be a piece of abstract art when it is finished. So let's take a moment to appreciate the blending, the shading, the outlines, the highlights, the lowlights, all of it. Look how easy it was for me to do that and look how much depth you can create using this technique. Now imagine this painting in a rainbow of colors or imagine this as a background where you let it dry and then use a clear coat of Floetrol to do a Dutch pour over it. Anything, use your imagination. And now here I go using my imagination. I'm going to take some of my Prism Pour here. This is an acrylic paint from Color Art, the most shimmery, sparkly, bling-tastic paint you will ever own. That is blue velvet, and I am going to use that color to hand paint in some of these ribbons. I'm going to call them ribbons instead of paths. So I'm just taking my blue velvet prism pour and hand painting it in. Just 
I'm going to create even more depth and 3D look by painting some of the ribbons underneath some sections. I'm going to paint it so it looks like they're coming over some sections. And it's going to be a bottom layer to what I'm going to put on top of it. So once I get done painting these sections, I'm going to come back in with some Win Modern Art glitter in the color called Atlantic. It's a beautiful royal blue glitter and I'm going to mix that up with a little bit of clear glue and paint it directly on top of these sections that I'm hand painting right now. So here is the glitter. Look at that. It is just absolutely fantastic. Again, I've just mixed it with some clear glue and I'm going to use a paintbrush to paint it right over the top of those prism pour sections. So in the end, when you see the close up, you're gonna be able to see the prism pour sparkling through with a little added bling. You can see just how slow I am moving here. There's no rush, this is therapeutic for me. I just take my time and kind of just lay the glitter down being very careful not to get it in areas where it doesn't belong. However, this is YouTube and you don't want to watch that. So we'll speed it right along and move on to the next step. Again, if you want to create that 3D look, just have some of the ribbons going underneath some of the ribbons or have them going over. If you want to add some paint to make them go a certain way, you can do that. It's a very simple process. And a turntable was a huge help with creating this piece of art. Okay, so once that's all dry, I'm gonna come back in with my Posca marker and I'm just outlining the ribbons that I hand painted. Just a very simple, thin white outline just to make it pop a little bit more. While I have a moment here, let me remind you that Saturday, June 24th, I'm holding a resin class to, uh, not tutorial, well, an uh, in-person tutorial. Uh, I have one seat left. So if anyone is in South Florida and interested in attending, it's an all-day class. We are going to have so much fun, so much learning, and it would be great to meet you. So if you're interested in that one, send me an email or by Tammy at yahoo.com. I'm also having a full day rising class in Connecticut. So if you're in Connecticut, July 8th, send me an email or by Tammy at yahoo.com. When everything is dry, which is not long, just 15 minutes for that marker to dry, I mixed up some KS liquid art ultra UV resin and poured it down on the surface. This is going to protect your painting. It's going to make the colors extremely vibrant and it's going to make that glitter sparkle like crazy. Using resin as a sealant for your artwork is extremely simple. You just pour it on and smear it all over the surface and the sides of your canvas or board. Once you're done, you pop the air bubbles with a torch, look for any imperfections in the surface, such as hair or lint, and you take it out with a toothpick. That's it. Put it in a dust-free zone overnight, and voila, you have a beautiful painting the next day. I love the blue velvet prism pour with the Atlantic glitter from Wynn. They just really complemented each other perfectly. And the sparkle is bananas. You're going to see it here now. Look at how beautiful that is. It looks like it's a bunch of crushed up sapphires just laid across the board. Once this dries for a few days, I will go ahead and stick it in a frame, most likely a white frame and uh, it will be available for purchase. It's a 16 by 20, and it is gorgeous. Here's an outside view in the daylight. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope even more that you give it a try. Stay tuned. As I said, we're going to have many, many more tutorials to come and a whole lot of learning. I love you all. Thank you so very much for joining me. Until the next time, my friends, happy pouring.